Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're playing some Jalopy. In the last episode where we left off, uh, just after I stopped recording, there was a bang and the tyres all popped at the same time. I guess the durability was running down and I didn't realise they needed to be fixed in the same way the others did. So I, uh, I saved the game and exited and it's actually dropped us back at the hotel that we were at because I guess that's how the game works. I need to be on the other side down. I don't want to open that door. Uh, let's get in the car here. So I'm gonna need to get some. Uh, I'm gonna need to get some repair supplies. I think. Oh, where are the keys? Our oh, keys are up there. Yeah, you can see the car barely steers. You can actually hear the uh, hear the wheels going. So we've got a shop here. We can actually buy some stuff from. So we should be able. I wonder if that's actually completely destroyed one of the wheels. Let's just turn the ignition off for a second if we can. Do we need to get in to do that. Yeah, actually, I think it was just that one that just went. And the back one there. Yeah, they're all pretty bad. How much money have we actually got? Not much, to be honest. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to start... I'm going to start a new game. Okay, guys, the reason I wanted to start a new game was... Let's just get off here quickly. How do I get a queue? Is it? Yep, queue. We can get going. Yeah, the reason I wanted to start a new game was that I feel like I've learned a decent amount already. And we didn't have any upgrades made to the car or anything like that. So we would basically achieved nothing and kind of wasted a load of our money and stuff figuring out what to do. So I think this is probably the best way to do it is to head off again from scratch on our first journey. And also we now know about, we now know about these things at the side of the road, these boxes we can look out for. So we can... Uh, we can pick them up if we see any and try and make money at any of the shops that we come across along the way. That's the plan at least anyway. I've got uh, all the, the spare supplies from the garage which I left behind last time. So we've got the car which is in decent condition at the moment. We've got like a repair kit. We've got a, t a can of fuel. Got some other bits and bobs as well. So let's just head off and, uh, and see what we can come across. Keep my eyes peeled for any anything that we can take along the way. Any boxes or anything like that. Is that a box there ahead? Is it? It looks like it might possibly be. I don't remember. No, it's just steps up to the uh, just steps up to the tank. Okay, we've got another car in front. Oh. Okay, that didn't work out particularly well. I'm going to end up on the wrong side of the road. Oh, no. That's oh, alright. He's going pretty quick. I thought he was going to hold me up massively there. Okay, I've been going for a while now, not seeing anything at the side of the road so far. I'm hoping that we come across something at least. Although I don't remember seeing anything on this first leg last time. It might be that you don't find anything for the first part. Uh, I guess Dresden we're heading for, yeah, and that way. Oh, there we go, found something. That has to be something there. Okay, yeah, we found a box. Handbrake on. Out. Right, okay, so I think... I think, I think that we're going to need to get this thing out because we're not going to have enough room for the box. I don't think we're going to have enough room for the box anyway. Let's have... Let's have a quick look. Oh, actually, that's smaller. It does actually fit in. We're not going to be able to fit the jack in as well, I guess. Okay, yeah, actually, we managed to fit everything, so that's cool. Right, let's get going then. So what I want to do now is basically get to the nearest garage so that I can, uh, or shop of any kind really, so that I can sell this uh, this box or, do I open the box? Not exactly sure how that works. And see if we can actually make some money from it. That'll be the plan because it would be good if we could get some kind of upgrade in this episode, whether it's like an engine or air filter or something. Nothing started to smoke on the car yet, so that's good news. It barely wanted to get up that hill. I think engine would probably be a, a good first upgrade. Uh oh. That's what you get for not paying attention. Okay. Can I do some kind of weird turn here? Right, I just went past a garage that I actually wanted to stop at. Because if possible, I'd like to sell this box as soon as possible. Just in case I come across anything else. And obviously... Right, let's have a look at it. We've got to a fueling station. Okay. Handbrake on. Engine off. No, I don't need the, uh, I don't need the map out at the moment. Okay, let's see what's going on with this. Right. Can I open it? Ooh. Oh, it's got a... Uh, it's got a padlock on it. Okay, interesting. 
interesting. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can buy a crowbar. That's just what I heard is that you can basically get a crowbar and break open the box with it. So that would be what is this? No idea what that is. Right. Yeah, I don't see any crowbars or anything like that here. Let's let's have a look and see if we can just sell the box. Can we? Oh, we don't buy them, so we can't sell the box without any. Put that back. Let's have a look at the engine, see what's going on with that. Okay, my engine stuff is actually... It's actually doing okay. Two out of three, two out of three. That's fine, that's fine. What about my wheels? I'm not sure how to check the durability of the wheels. Do I need to jack it up and have a look at those? Is that something that needs to happen? I think we'll buy a repair kit. We'll buy a repair kit and do the engine up so we can keep the one we've got. That seems like a, seems like a good idea. There you go. A little bit on that. Do you know what? That was actually the only thing that needed work there. It's a sh I know that can do some. No, so I'm not sure about the durability of the wheels. I don't know exactly how that works. Can I sell this back to him now? Did I get money back for that? I can't work it out. Yeah, I got £5 back for not using that. Okay, cool. Right. That's not too bad then. I guess the best thing to do will probably be to see if I can, um, when we get to a town, I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit a town before before we have to move through the border, so, because we'll need a motel to stay in. So I'm pretty curious as to whether when we hit the town we'll find anywhere there that sells a crowbar to open this box with. Because uh, if so, or if we find anything else in between times that doesn't have a lock, then I'll be more tempted to uh, to take that instead. I'm wondering whether engine parts, if you let the durability get below zero and kind of let the part completely fail, if you can actually fix it from that point or if you need to replace the part. Oh, traffic jam. Oh my god. Okay, god knows what's actually going on here. Um, but I'm going to have to try and get past them somehow. Looks like this might be the town straight ahead of me here. It's a bit silhouette because it is night. But it does look like this is the place. So fingers crossed there's a shop here that will sell, uh, sell us a crowbar. Now I'm wondering how similar this is going to be to the last town. The last town had a Lackier dealership. Which I think, I can't see but I believe this might... No, this is just... That's the motel. Okay, so that's a motel. Pretty sure the border's going to be around here somewhere. That's... That's the way I think the game works. So this looks like a... Okay, this is just a uh, like a garage. Is it? Oh no, this is the Lackier dealership. Okay, cool, right. Let's have a look. Let's have a look around this town. Oh, and that's the... Okay, falling through the graphics. That's a shame. Okay, well, the game is in kind of pre-alpha or alpha, whatever you want to call it. Early access. So these kind of things are to be ex... Alright, so we're back in bed at home because we saved and quit the game and restarted it. So, I'm guessing we're still going to have the box. Yep, we are. Right, let's see what we need here. The tyres are two out of three. I'm guessing the engine's going to need a little bit of work and we're going to need to fuel it up. Okay, so I'm ready to go now. Not sure if I need a, uh, a new destination. Or if I can continue, no. We need to select a new route. I wonder if it's going to let me select the same route or not. Let's have a quick look. Uh, no, it's a different route. Let's go for this one. Okay, cool. Because we don't want any potholes or anything that are going to do us in. Okay, guys, as far as this route's concerned, I'm going to jump to pretty much the end of it unless anything really interesting happens along the way. Because you've already watched me do it once. Uh, kind of just making up for the fact that we uh, ended up glitching out of the game. Okay, this seemed like a lot longer than the uh, the last journey, even though it was exactly the same distance. But I'm pretty sure that that's the town just up ahead now. After this, uh, after this little roundabout here, yeah, this is it. This is the town. Okay, we're out of fuel. I've just realised. What a fantastic place to run out of fuel right as we enter the town. I do have some fuel in the back. Don't let me fall through the graphics again, please. Keep the fuel tank if we can for now. Got some oil. Lean oil, optimal, rich oil. Don't know why I did that, to be honest. I was just interested in what it would do. Whether it will make the car go faster or whether it will kind of make it burn out quicker, I don't know. Right, what was I looking for? The box. I don't well, actually want to take the box. Let's go and see if they sell a crowbar before we do anything else. Fingers crossed. Oh, what's this? Yes. Crowbar. 
30. Oh my god, that's expensive. Oh, I haven't even got my wallet with me. Go and get the wallet. I'll pay for that crowbar. Thank you very much. I wonder if I get I wonder if this has got a durability to it. I bet it has. I bet it wears out once you use it on a box. Okay. Right. From what I gather, we just tap the padlock. Oh. Oh man, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to carry I should have opened this right next to the shop or in the shop, shouldn't I? This is gonna be a pain in the neck now. Right, I can get rid of my wallet actually. I wonder how much I can sell these things for. Hopefully more than thirty, because that's what we've paid for the crowbar. I can leave the crowbar in the boot as well. Awesome, awesome. Right. So we've got 109, which is more than we started with. There's only one toolkit for sale in this whole shop. That's not fantastic news. Okay, we're going to have to pay for that. So we got that. Now I'm wondering, now we know how to actually make money. Whether we go and buy something from the Lackey dealership. Might be worth me just running over rather than driving the car over. Okay, feel free to look through the catalogue so we can do that now, right. I don't think we're going to be able to afford anything cool like an engine or anything like that. Oh, yeah, I just click the top corner. So these are engine parts. Oh, no, we can actually... No, stock engine. Green engine. Hmm, don't know how much better that's going to be, right. Let's look at carburetors. What's that going to do? Stock. Oh, there's all different, like, uh, all different levels of engine, isn't there, right. Air filters... Okay, so this is going to say reduces wear of the engine, but one is not required. So we could get a better air filter and that will make our engine last longer. Carburetors, what do they do? So we can buy any of these different air filters here, can we? Coverless. I'm wondering if we just buy this one. This looks cool. I'm just going to do it. There we go. Order. Right, it's ready out the front. Sweet. And then we'll use the repair kit that we bought to like fix the rest of it up. I guess that's probably a plan. I bet I can sell the part that I pull off it as well, actually. Oh, is this not going to actually... Oh, no. I oh, know it is. I just need... To... Okay, yeah. Cool, it's in. Amazing. All right. Oh, it's got an extra durability as well. It's 4 out of 4 rather than 3 out of 3. So, can I now sell this air filter? I'll get $2 for it, which, you know, is better than nothing. It is absolutely better than nothing. I've somehow managed to lose the repair kit that I bought. No idea where I put that. Okay, found it. I must have just dropped it in the Lackey dealership. Okay, I'm going to fill up this fuel tank before we go. So we've got some spare fuel in the car. I think this oil's completely empty, you know. Let's see if we can just flog it. Yeah, we get like $8 for that. Okay, so we're kind of all set for now. I think what's going to happen is we're going to get to the border and they're going to say we have to stay in the motel. Okay, the border crossing is closed. Pretty easy to use the motel and return tomorrow. That's fine. That's what I expected. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call that an end of the episode. We managed to get an upgrade done to the car, which is what I was planning to do in the episode, so I'm quite pleased with that. This is our room. It should be. Yeah, 2 be. All right, I've actually got to click the lock to get in. Right, cool. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I'm happy with the progress in the episode. In the next one, we should be able to continue our journey uh, through the border and see what we... Uh, See what we run into on the other side. Guys, if you're enjoying the series, please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.